It's Kara from Plaid. Happy Wednesday. We are here live on YouTube and we are also filming and going live on Amazon simultaneously. So if you're joining us on YouTube, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. And you can also join us live on Amazon. So this is something we haven't done before. So we've got a lot of cameras going, so bear with us. Um, we have John and Tamara here in the studio that are going to be answering questions and posting links for you while we are live. So if you have any questions during um, this live, we can absolutely answer in live time. So we can either answer in the chat or they can relay those messages to me and I can answer them for you. Um, Tamara will be popping the links um, if you are viewing on YouTube to direct you to Amazon because you can purchase all this awesome Apple Barrel product that we're going to be talking about. So again, we are live broadcasting on YouTube and Amazon, so we just wanted to let you guys know that. Again, two great options to watch. So we are talking all about Apple Barrel pouring. So Apple Barrel pouring medium is an amazing pouring medium formula that we have created that makes it easy to pour and swirl and create abstract painting um, patterns. We're also talking about Apple Barrel Paint, which is your go-to acrylic paint. This is a matte finish. It's quick dry, easy cleanup, great opaque coverage. And we're specifically going to be using Promo ABI. So again, um, click the link if you want to purchase this during the live or after. You can head on over to Amazon. And Promo ABI is 18 beautiful colors of our Apple Barrel acrylic paint. It is great for pouring, great for general crafting, great for seasonal, great for families. Um, whether you're a painter, a maker, a DIYer, this is a great kit. If you've never painted or poured before, this is a great starter. So 18 beautiful colors. You can see here, we have the bottles upside down, just so you can see the beautiful colors um, that you get in it. So everything from your traditional white, black, grays to your pinks, your reds, your oranges, your yellows, your purples, your blues. So every color under the rainbow, 18 beautiful colors, promo ABI and then you pair it with our apple barrel pouring meeting, medium. And again, this was formulated to mix with your paint, your acrylic paint, and it allows your paint to flow, flow and swirl all over your canvas without it getting muddy. So if you just take a bunch of paint and you pour it on the canvas and you swirl it around, it's gonna get muddy. So by using the apple barrel pouring medium, it allows the paint to swirl and form um, beautiful graphic shapes. So I wanna show you, I have some examples back here and you can see on our set some others that we have on the shelf. But again, we're gonna show you how to create these beautiful patterns and swirls. We're actually going to also be using Mod Podge that works great with all of our Apple Barrel products, especially with the pouring medium and the promo ABI. I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful rock crystals out of salt, rock salt. So I'm going to show you that. And again, just some other beautiful patterns. I've got a hair dryer. I've got some cups here. So a lot of great techniques that we're going to show you and how easy it is. I've got some glitter. So a lot of fun things that I want to show you, inspire you, and get you guys creating. So I'm going to get started. Again, if you have questions, um, John and Tamara are here to help answer questions and post links. I know we're linking the product. Again, we are on YouTube and Amazon Live. So um, it's the first time we've done that. So we're excited. So thanks for joining us. Okay, so I am going to walk through the first process and the supplies that you'll need if you're doing pouring. So again, I've got my Apple Barrel Pouring Medium and my Apple Barrel Paint. Any of the Apple Barrel Paints are great to use with the Apple Barrel Pouring Medium. I'm using Promo ABI because it's 18 beautiful colors. And I've got those, and then I've got some other Apple Barrel colors here just to show you the wide range of variety that you can get. So I've got some great color combos here. And Apple Barrel comes in multiple sizes. So we've got the two ounce, we have the eight ounce, we also have the 16 ounce. So this is really great depending on the type of project that you're using. This Apple Barrel Black and White is a great staple to have. Um, it's also great for pouring if you're pouring a large surface. And usually in our pours, we use like a black or white with a lot of color. So a lot of great other options with the Apple Barrel brand. It also comes in a multi-surface and a gloss. We're just using our traditional formula, which is a matte finish. It easily cleans up with soap and water. It's an opaque finish. It's great for all your crafting, and I love it for pouring. 
so you're also going to need something to pour onto. So I've got a r wide range of canvases here. So canvases are great. We also make an amazing wood panel and a 10 inch and a 12 inch. So we've got those bundles also. So I am using canvases. Um, I have baking sheets, so whether you're using disposable or old baking pans, these are great. I would just recommend if you use them to pour on, then you don't bake your cookies on them. But we've got these baking pans because they're great when you pour because they contain all the spillage that comes off of your pour, and they're easy to move around your workspace. So I've got that. I've got flat back thumbtacks or push pins. So these are flat. And what we do with these is we actually put them in the back of our surface. So we'll stick them right into all four corners of our canvas since we're pouring on canvas today. And that is going to hold your canvas up off of your surface when you pour, which allows the paint to drip over the sides and also allows you to get your hands under the canvas. And it just makes it really easy to work with. So these pins are a great little trick to have. We also have a variety of cups. Now you can use reusable cups, you can use silicone cups. We just have plastic cups in a variety of sizes. So we have these little guys here, we have some larger, and we have some like these cocktail size. So again, depending what you're pouring, these are three great sizes to have on hand. I also have some craft sticks. You can use plastic spoons or craft sticks. So you're gonna use these to mix because we're gonna be mixing our apple barrel pouring medium with our apple barrel paint. That's a big part of this. Um, then I will get into the rock salt here in a minute. I also, like I said, I have a hair dryer and I have a, a paper cup that we're gonna do some fun pours and some glitters that we're gonna use for our rock salts. So when you are, so I'm gonna clear this so I can start mixing. So anytime you're using um, apple barrel, you know, any acrylic paint with your apple barrel pouring medium, you want to do a one-to-one -one ratio. So that means one part weight paint and one part pouring medium. So, and you need a cup per color when you're mixing. So I'm going to go ahead and lay out my cups. And I'm going to just do three colors and then we're going to get into the fun pour. So I'm just going to do a basic pour to get started and then we can get into the hair dryer and the other fun things. I mean, they're all really fun to do. So what you want to do, I always put my paint in first. So I am going to grab this purple from the Promo ABI. So I've got purple iris. And I am going to pour this right in my cup. So I hope you guys can see that. Really thick and creamy. So I've got apple barrel there. I have got, I'm going to also do this blue, this really beautiful light blue. And I'm going to do white. Now I have the larger um, container. I have the 16 ounce of white just because it's, we're going to use a lot of white and black. But again, apple barrel, this is our matte original formula. And I'm going to go ahead and pour this in my cup. Now here's something to remember that even if you're using white, you don't want to just use the pouring medium as the white because it's going to come out of the bottle and be milky white. You always want to add paint because it's going to dry clear. And it dries clear because it which is great because it doesn't change the color of your um, paint. So this purple is going to be just as vibrant and purple or just as vibrant and blue when you add the pouring medium. So don't worry when it comes out of the container that it's creamy and milky. So we're going to do a one-to-one -one, and again just eyeballing and I'm going to show you what that looks like once we um, start to mix it. And again, the more you do, the more you get a hang and a feel for it. But I'm going to show you with the consistency. So you see how thick that is. It's not moving around a lot. And I'm just eyeballing this. So like a one-to-one -one ratio. And then I'm just going to take our craft stick, one per cup, and I'm going to start to mix. Now, it's really important that you, can you guys see that? There you go. So it's really important that you mix it thoroughly. Now, if it's too thin, you need to add more paint. If it's too thick, you can add more pouring medium. So don't worry, and you want it to be like a thick syrup that comes off of your craft stick or spoon. So again, just and it didn't change that color, that is still as vibrant as it came out of the bottle. Okay, another craft stick, and I'm just gonna mix this up. And you just wanna make sure there's no lumps and it's just mixed really well. Again, that's what you want it to look like. And then again, don't just use the pouring medium, even though it's milky and creamy, you wanna make sure that you mix it with white. So I'm gonna mix that. 
And again, I'm just mixing right on my baking pan. And I have some baby wipes and paper towels here. This soap is not, or the soap, this paint is non-toxic and it easily cleans up with soap and water when it's still wet. But if you're working with this, definitely protect your workspace. If you want to wear gloves, absolutely. Um, we're just used to here in the studio getting messy and my nails are already ruined. So I'm just using my bare hands because it's easier to craft for you guys. But absolutely um, non-toxic, so it's easy to clean up. But again, throw on an apron, protect your workspace when you're crafting, especially if you're working with your kids. Okay, and baby wipes are always great to have on hand. So I've gone ahead and I mixed these three colors. Now I'm going to take my canvas, and I have my canvas here that I put my thumbtacks in. So again, these are flat back tacks. Pop them right into the back, and then once it dries, you can take them out and reuse them. And this is a great trick. So just sticking it in there. I'm going to lay this on my tray. And then I'm going to pour. So there's two different types of traditional pours. I would call it traditional. There's a clean pour and a dirty pour. So a clean pour is when you just pour on your canvas and then you swirl your paint. So I will, I'll show you. I'm going to pour the purple, the blue, and the white, and then I'm going to swirl. A dirty pour is when you mix all your colors in one cup and then you dump them on your cup and you swirl it. So the colors become more muddy. So I'm going to show you both of those. All right, I'm going to pour. And you don't worry about going over your canvas. You're just going to pour, and that's why these trays are great, whether it's disposable tray or a regular baking sheet. You know, you could thrift these, find them, you know, really inexpensive, um, or use old ones that you have and upgrade yours. They're great to craft and pour on. They're non-stick, so the paint doesn't stick to them, which is great. And again, I'm just doing a super simple, clean pour. So this is like basics. If you've never poured before, this is great to do. And don't worry if there's white canvas showing because we're going to swirl this and it's going to cover it up. OK, so like I said, it's great to have these tacks because then you can just stick your fingers under. And here's the fun part. So I'm just going to swirl in a circular motion. And you can see that movement that you get. And again, that's because of the apple barrel pouring medium. If I had just poured the paint, it would become muddy, and you wouldn't get that really graphic definition of lines. So that's a clean pour, very basic. And I'm going to show you real quick with the paint I have left over to do a dirty pour. We're also going to talk about what to do with your paint drippings. So once the paint dries on your pan, you can remove those. And again, that's why I like these pans, is that you can create a paint skin, which makes it really easy to um, paint on 3D objects or do paint pouring on 3D objects. So I'm going to show you guys that, how easy it is to do pots and rocks. We've got some great rocks over here. So these are actually rocks um, that have been poured with, we've poured a skin, taken the skin off and wrapped them around a stone. So I'm going to show you guys that also. Okay, so this guy, I'm going to move him over to the side. Grab another pan, and I'm going to do a dirty pour. Actually, I can probably just reuse the same pan so we don't run off or run out. It's like a little baking show here. So I'm just going to slide him over. Again, another great reason to have a tray or mat. And I'm going to grab this little guy. So this is just, again, a canvas, just showing you guys on canvases. But you can pour on a number of surfaces. Flat surfaces are really easy. You can pour on 3D surfaces. Um, a lot of times you use a spinner if you're going to pour on 3D surfaces, but if you use the paint skins after your paint dries, that's a great way to cover your 3D objects. So a paint skin is all this goodness right here you can see on the tray. That's going to dry, and you're going to be able to pull it up and remove it and craft with it. So that's really fun. All right, I'm just sticking these in. Okay. So I'm going to do a dirty pour. So I'm going to take another cup, and I'm going to pour my paint. So this is the paint that I mixed. I'm going to layer it into a cup. Now remember, because we have the pouring medium, it's not going to blend together. So you can see how it's still staying separated. So I'm just going to layer this in on top of each other. OK, so I'm just going to keep layering. Again, if you guys are just joining us, welcome. We are streaming live on YouTube and Amazon Live right now. So we've got John and Tamara in here. If you guys have any questions, 
go ahead and put them in um, the comments or the chat and we can answer those for you while we're live. They're also going to be putting the link. So if you want to purchase um, any of this product, you can head on over to Amazon after and click the link and purchase. We've got Promo ABI, which is 18 beautiful colors of our acrylic matte paint, which is so great for pouring, so great for crafting, making, DIYing, seasonal projects, great for families. We're also talking about our apple barrel pouring medium and we're gonna do some fun things with Mod Podge. So if you're just joining us, welcome. We just did a beautiful clean pour and now I'm gonna do a dirty pour. So um, I think I just got paint on my nose. Okay, so a dirty pour is when you pour all your paints in the cup and then you pour right onto your canvas. So you can see the difference. It's more blended and I had a lot of purple in there but you can see the difference. It's not as bold and graphic, it's more blended. So it's still not muddy, but those are the same exact colors and the two different looks. Now this has a lot more blue, but you can just see how it just, it blends and fades into each other when you do a dirty pour and these lines, it's a beautiful geode. And then this is very graphic. So two great pours, if you're just getting started or you know wanna know the basics, this is a great way to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna switch modes, and I'm gonna move this whoop, over here. Okay, so next we are going to do a pour using um, a paper cup. So all I did, this was a large paper cup, and I cut off the top, and you want this flat rim, so this is actually where you drink out of, and it doesn't matter, this isn't perfectly cut, but I'm gonna use this to pour my paint into. I'm gonna grab another canvas and a pan. So again, a lot of prep when we're doing this. So I'm gonna stick these in here. While you're getting that ready, yeah. we have a question asking if there are other kits. Other kits there are. So we have a number of Apple Barrel paint kits. So whether it is glossy, multi-surface, or our original formula, so we can put the links in there. We have got um, Promo ABI that we're talking about. And there are also some great folk art kits that work hand in hand with the Apple Barrel pouring medium. So there's a lot of great kits available on Amazon. So I think Tamara, you guys can put those and John can put those um, below if you're on Amazon or click the link. So there are a ton of great kits. We've got 20 numbers of, or paint bottles of 24, 20. We've got a lot of great options. We've got essentials, we've got pastels, we've got multi-surface and gloss. So absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on there and then I am going to go ahead and mix my paint. So I'm gonna do um, bigger cups for this one. And again, I'm gonna start with my paint and then I am going to let it um, like ring out in this cup. So I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm gonna start with black. And again, it's a one-to-one -one ratio no matter what. And then I'm gonna grab this fuchsia, which is a really pretty bright pink, which is gonna look great with the black. Again, we've got multiple sizes of the apple barrel. I love this because you get such a wide range, but we have other sizes. So we've got bright magenta and fuchsia um, in you know the larger eight ounce, and we've got some great colors in 16 ounce also. There's some more fuchsia. So we have another question. Yeah. While you're getting your colors ready. Um, is there a way to speed up drying time on pores? Yeah, so um, you can use a hair dryer if you want to. You can use a hair dryer on low, but just remember that if you push your paint around, it's gonna move. So you could hit it with a hair dryer or place it in front of a fan. Also, it depends on your humidity. So, you know, just if you have a cool place, but a fan always works great. We do that here in the studio. We'll lay out all our pans and let a fan blow on them. Or if you need it to dry in between processes, you can always hit it with cool air though for your hair dryer. I wouldn't use warm and I would lightly do it because we're gonna actually use this hair dryer with the attachment on it and we're gonna blow the paint around. So you just wanna be careful that you don't stick a hair dryer or fan on it because it could blow your paint all over the place, which could be really fun also. <laughs> all right, I am just filling this up with yellow. Okay, and then I'm also going to do, I'm gonna do one more here. I'm gonna do this bright blue. 
Again, we're using Promo ABI, but I've got a number of great colors here that are all Apple Barrel. So grab the kit, and then you can also personalize it with some other really fun, bright colors. Okay, then I'm going to do our one-to-one -one ratio with our Apple Barrel pouring medium. Do you need to seal paint pours? So if you are going to um, use it for like an outdoor project or you're worried about sealing it or it's something that is going to be used a lot, I would seal it depending on where you're putting it. If you are, um, a really great product to seal your pores with is Mod Podge Ultra because it is non-tacky and non-sticky. So it's great if you're going to, if you're pouring coasters or pouring something that's going to be used a lot or you're going to put it outdoors, I would seal it. Um, if it's just something that's decorative that's going to hang on your wall, you don't need to seal it. But Mod Podge is always a great sealer. And again, we're going to use the gloss, the matte, um, and Mod Podge Ultra is a spray Mod Podge, um, glue, sealer, all-in-one, non-tacky, which is also great to seal your um, pores with. But no need if you're just doing, you know, for example, a pour like this, you don't need to seal it. But if you're going to be using it as a tray or something that gets a lot of wear and tear, I would seal it. And I would pick the right formula on Mod Podge. So we've got outdoor, satin, matte, um, dishwasher safe, so a lot of great options. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and give these a stir. And I poured a lot of black for this one. I'm gonna show you guys the technique that we're doing. So, so many techniques that you can do. Um, Definitely, whoops, I'm gonna keep knocking these over, I know it. We've got a lot of stuff on the table here. So, so many different techniques that you can do with pouring. This is just like the very, very, very tip of the iceberg of what you can do, but we just wanna introduce, you know, if you're not familiar or you love the Apple Barrel brand and Plaid products, this is, um, you know, just a great addition to your craft room, stock your craft room. Summer, you know, is here and it's hot or you need something for the kids to do or you wanna try something new, this is the perfect time to do it. Um, also, if you are, um, whether you're joining us and watching us on YouTube or Amazon, make sure that you like and subscribe if you're on YouTube and follow the Apple Barrel brand page if you're watching us on Amazon. So because then you'll get notifications when we're live and you'll get to check out all the inspiration and great products that we have. Okay, so I've got my canvas on my baking pan. And then again, this is just a paper cup. So you can see, just cut it with scissors, didn't cut it super even. This is the lip of the cup. So I'm gonna place this down on my canvas because you do want that to be even. So this isn't super even where I cut it. You want it to be even. So it doesn't create a seal, but it's definitely like a barrier for your paint. And that's gonna be important with this technique. Again, we've mixed this um, one to one ratio apple barrel paint and apple barrel pouring medium so you want it to look like a thick syrup when it comes off your craft stick. Okay so I'm going to pour this right into my cup and I'm just going to keep pouring and it's going to start to leak out the bottom don't worry that's what you want okay and then I'm going to start layering in my paint. So it takes a while and I'm just going to kind of hold it. So there's a lot of black on there. So the more that you move this, you're going to get start to see the blue come out. Okay. I'm going to add my pink and that's going to push the blue out. So you should start seeing there we go. And it's almost creating like a galaxy effect. So I'm just going to keep pouring. And you can move this around. You can do it in the center. And again, you don't need to use black. You could do this with white. You could do this with um, just a wide range of colors. And you can see that motion that you get. The more paint you pour on there, that more motion that you get. I'm try to get some more blue out of here. Okay, 
then, so you get that awesome design, and then you can swirl this around and just see that awesome movement that you get. And again, the more you move it, it changes every time. So you just get that exactly where you want it. So again, just a really fun technique. And again, a completely different look. Okay, so I'm gonna move this to the side. Oops, okay. <laughs> Lots of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna keep this black because there's a lot of paint left. Again, we don't wanna waste paint, um, like I said. So we've got, you know, I know people always ask, well, what do I do with the leftover paint? So I'm gonna show you guys exactly what to do with your paint skins. And then I'm just gonna wipe off. I'm working on a piece of palette paper or um, a plastic tablecloth is great because it cleans up really easily while you're crafting. Again, easy clean up with soap and water. Okay. Okay, so next I'm gonna grab another canvas. This one, I'm gonna have to stick this in here. We should have pre-stuck all these little guys. I'm gonna grab this big tray here. So you can see there's already paint on this, but it's not, it's all dry, so don't worry about it. I'm going to, let's see if this big canvas will fit in here. Perfect. Okay, so this one is just missing one thumbtack. So again, I'm just sticking my push pins in my corners, and that's gonna allow me, like I said, to pick up and swirl my canvas. Okay, and so this one, I am going to mix some more paints up. So I'm gonna do a variety of blues. Again, in the promo ABI, we've got two blue, we have got this parrot blue, again, just so many beautiful colors. And I am going to mix these, and I think the link is in both, if you're viewing, um, promo ABI, so 18 beautiful colors. Promo ABI, we're talking about that, we're talking about apple barrel pouring medium. Um, it's just a great kit to get started. And we also have a variety of other apple barrel paints here, which are just, again, so many beautiful colors. Like every color of the rainbow we have up here, which is great for pouring. We've got multiple sizes. So you can grab this 18 um, piece kit. Somebody asked if there were other kits. There's a number of other kits. I know they're gonna put the link in if you're viewing um, either on YouTube or Amazon where you can purchase. And you know we've got this, we've got the multi-surface, we have the gloss kit, but then we have just a variety of other um, colors that you can purchase and multiple sizes. So we've got the two ounce, the eight ounce, we've got these great 16 ounces, which are great for sharing, great for groups, great just to stock your craft room. Um, so I'm gonna use more white. Actually, I'm gonna put white on at the end, so I'm gonna need to for that, I'm gonna need a lot of white, a lot of black and white. So again, these 16 ounce black and white apple barrel are awesome to have, especially when pouring. And then I am gonna use this beautiful green. So this is meadow green. This isn't actually in the kit, but again, it's just another great apple barrel color. And I love that you can mix and match. So grab your promo ABI, and then you can just mix and match all your paint colors. Okay, so I am going to Put that guy down. I'm going to mix my pouring medium. While you're pouring in your medium, uh, Maria is asking if you can put vinyls on top of completed pieces. Vinyls? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. So you could use your electronic cutting machine, cut your vinyl out, and place it right over to personalize. That's a great idea. You can also um, use your paint skin. So these are the, I keep talking about these paint skins. So these are paint skins. So these are pours that we have done that have come out of the pan and we cut them. So this is literally what is left over after you paint. And we're gonna show you how you can craft with these. So you could actually run these for, through your electric cutting machine or stencil or pers personalize with these. So you could do course, you know, coordinating colors with your pours. You could put this on a painted canvas. So you could actually cut out of this if you wanted to personalize it. So this is so fun and awesome. And again, great for 3D objects. So we're gonna get to that. Okay, I'm gonna mix, and I've got a couple blues and just a really pretty green here. And I am mixing quickly. And again, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. And this apple barrel, it comes, there's two different sizes. So we've got the 16 
16 ounce and is it 32 or 64? I believe it comes in the 64 ounce um, of the apple barrel pouring medium. So we've got multiple sizes um, of that also. So it's great to have a lot on hand. Again, stock your craft room. Um, and apple barrel is just great to have. It's like your go-to craft, whether you're, again, you're crafting with the family. If you've got kids or grandkids, it's summer. You need something to do that's inside or outside. Um, you know, if you have time and you haven't, you know, really gotten to try this, it's a great opportunity to do it. It's so fun. It's relaxing. Um, it's like very mesmerizing to do and it, you can't do it wrong, right? So like every pour is gonna look different, which I love. Um, it's, it's just a really fun project to do. It's fun to do if you're getting together with a group of friends and have a paint pouring party. So everybody can, you know, get your kit, get your pouring medium and everybody could do their own paint pour, which is really fun. And then you could even swap them at the end. I love that idea. Great for birthday parties, especially with these larger sizes. Okay. So I am going to pour this right down the middle. And I am just going to pour, I'm gonna let the paint touch one right after another. I'm gonna put a lot of paint. You definitely got their attention with the uh, using a cutting machine on the paint skin. Yeah, absolutely. So you could, you know, like I said, whatever is left, or you could just intentionally pour these onto your pan, let this dry, peel it up. I'm gonna show you how easily it peels up, and then um, you can craft with this. So again, whether you're using 3D objects or you can run this right through your cutting machine. You could also, um, you know, pour on a canvas and then cut that up. So if you have an old canvas or you want to pour, you could absolutely do that also. And you can use Mod Podge then to stick it down. So if it's not an adhesive vinyl, you could use um, Mod Podge, matte, gloss, satin, and you can use that as your glue and sealer to apply it to your canvases. All right, so I'm just going to take my white and I'm going to pour on either side of this. just want to make sure I get this good and covered. So you can always take your stick. And so I like using the craft sticks, kind of scrape your side. And you can use this to kind of like make sure, because you want to make sure your whole canvas is covered. So there you go. And then also, if you don't use all your paint, you know, you can use, um, I love using like press and seal or saran wrap or like saran wrap with um, a rubber band around it. And you can save your paint for a couple days also. And if it gets too thick, you can also add pouring medium to it. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the hair dryer, and so I'm gonna use this on cool, and then I'm gonna put it on low, my lowest setting, and so hair dryer, just everyday hair dryer. If you don't have one in your craft room, it's great to have. Um, this is the um, diffuser, so I think this is called a diffuser, but it's the concentrator. This is the um, long, skinny attachment to your hair dryer, and you wanna use this because it's gonna blow your paint. So I'm gonna turn this on so it might get loud. Just want to make sure it is on low. It is not working. Hold on. There we go. And you may have to turn it up, but I would always start on low. And it's going to blow your paint. Okay, so you guys can see what that is like so beautiful. It's great for creating beaches, you're creating landscapes, even with your pores. But all we did was we laid our paint in the middle, we poured with our white, and then we took the, the hair dryer, use cool, start on low because you don't know how you know powerful your hair dryer is going to be, and then you can work your way up and just move that paint across your surface. So that is a beautiful pour. I love that technique. And again, look at all that great. That is going to be an awesome paint skin. Look at that, you guys. So that's going to be so fun to work with when it's done. So he's really pretty. I'm happy with that one. And again, they're always so different, so you never know what you're going to get. 
Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. Knocked over my Mod Podge. Okay, so we're gonna do some mod, we're gonna make some geodes now using our pouring and using Mod Podge. Let me wipe my hands. Again, easy cleanup with soap and water. You're gonna make a mess, it's just a messy craft, but again, it's non-toxic, it's great. Um, you know, you can wear disposable gloves. I, it's just easier to craft for you guys without them, so. Okay, I'm gonna pour this pan over just because it's easier to work on for you guys to show you. So, to do the rocks, so what we're going to be creating, so I've got this treasure chest of rocks, so, thank you, okay, so you guys, this is rock salt, like ice cream rock salt, right, like you pick this up, you can probably get it at Amazon, grab this at your grocery store, this is rock salt. This is what you make. You make these crystals. So this is just a great collection. I love to show this of all different rocks. Geodes, so you can use these in jewelry. Oh gosh, you guys, I hope you can see that close. You can use these in jewelry. We're gonna use them on a pour. You can use them to decorate all different kinds of things. And they are solid when they dry. So beautiful, we're gonna use ice cream salt. So rock salt, Mod Podge gloss, fine glitter, and that's all you need. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And here's two examples here. So you can see this one is, we did a pour, and then you can put these on while your pour is wet, or you can use Mod Podge as your um, glue and you can attach them. So we've done purple and gold here. Again, this is a beautiful pour that we did, and then created a geode. And then this is just a really fun blue, um, blues and greens and blacks. So this is what we're creating. Again, there's a million uses for these um, rock crystals, but I love them on the geodes, on the geode pours. So again, just great. And there's, you can break them apart. You can make them any size you want. So you could do like loose pieces or you could do like bigger chunks. So I'm gonna show you how to make those. Okay, so parchment paper, you'll need that also. Then I am just going to pour my salt out. This box is pretty beat up. So again, this is everyday rock salt. It's e super easy to find also in the summer. Okay, and then you need Mod Podge glass. So again, Mod Podge glass, it works so great with apple barrel. Um, you know, and the pouring, so this is a great technique. And then I've just got some fine glitters here. So again, a variety of fine glitters. So whatever color you want to match, I'm gonna grab a pour over here. So this was one similar to the hair jar that we did. So I'm gonna add some geodes to him. So we'll make him match. So set that over here. And then you need a separate cup. And what you wanna do is you want to mix your Mod Podge and your glitter first. So you wanna take five spoonfuls of your Mod Podge. I'm sorry, you wanna take two spoonfuls of your Mod Podge gloss. So this is just a plastic um, spoon. So two spoons of your Mod Podge. And this is just, again, a disposable plastic spoon, Mod Podge gloss. We've got a lot of great variety of sizes also. We'll link that also. You can purchase that on Amazon. So grab your promo ABI, your pouring. You could probably get your rock salt and everything and get this home and DIY it with us. So two spoonfuls of Mod Podge gloss. Then you wanna do um, a big heaping spoonful of fine glitter. You could try chunky glitter, but we prefer to use the loose glitter. So I'm gonna grab a bit, now this is an exact measurement, so one big spoonful of glitter. Now, and I'm gonna do two here, so we got two going on simultaneously. I don't have any more spoons. That's okay, once you get your um, spoon in Mod Podge though, you, I guess you could wipe it off, here's one more. Okay, so two spoonfuls Mod Podge gloss. This is a great thing to do, again, if you're crafting with your friends, you're having a birthday party, or you know your grandkids over, this is a great thing to do. So two spoonfuls of Mod Podge. And then I am going to do this blue glitter here. And you could even mix the gold glitter in if you wanted, but I'm gonna do a big spoonful, and there's no exact, just about a spoonful of glitter. And then you wanna take five spoonfuls of your rock salt. So five spoonfuls into your cup. But first, sorry, what you wanna do is you wanna mix your Mod Podge and your glitter together. So mix that together. 
And again, don't worry that it doesn't look shiny because the Mod Podge, again, is milky and creamy, but it's going to dry super glittery. So mix that well, and then you're going to add your rock salt. So I'm going to mix five spoonfuls of our rock salt. right into my cup. So I'm going to do both at the same time here. Okay. And then I'm just going to mix this. And what is important is that you coat your rock salt. So you want to make sure that you are completely, I'm making a mess, completely coat your rock salt. So it's going to feel dry and kind of chunky, but that's okay. You want to just completely coat your rock salt. Okay, so I'm going to keep mixing. So again, we're using rock salt, Mod Podge gloss, and fine glitter. Okay, so then we just have some parchment paper here that we're using, and we're going to spoon this out to dry. And again, it's already shiny, but once it dries, it's going to get really sparkly. Now, you can do big chunks or you can do smaller chunks. Once it starts to dry, you can break it apart. And you just want to leave this sit. It's about 24 hours, so I would let this sit overnight, and then you'll be ready to work with it. So you can put it on your parchment paper to dry like that. Or you can take your canvas, and because this has Mod Podge in it, it's going to glue it right to your canvas. Or you can use a wet canvas that you just poured, like the ones we did, and you can actually apply the wet rock salt right to your canvas. So again, I would just put that on there. Now look, it's going to fall off if you tip your canvas, but because there's Mod Podge on there, it's going to work as a glue. So you can just scoop that on wherever you want, like a really good placement. And again, um, and again, I put this on here. So this is going to dry if you want to make loose um, geodes. So if you want to do this technique and you want it to dry and then you want to glue it on, which I can also do, you want to just put it on parchment paper. It's not going to stick, and you're going to be able to peel it off as big chunks. If you want to just put it on while it's wet and you want it on your canvas, you can just scoop it out of your cup, and you can apply it right to your canvas. Again, you can mix these together. You can also then, if you wanted to, for a little extra shine, you could sp actually spread some contrasting glitter or an accent color right over top of it. And because it's Mod Podge, it's going to seal that right in there. So it's going to be really beautiful when it dries. So you can also just take one of your wet canvases. So if we wanted to do, these are the first two that I did, and we can take this um, blue. I'm just going to scoop them right off of my tray. And so you could plop that right down on the wet canvas. And again, it's Mod Podge and it's not going to ruin your pour. You can put it right on there. So you could just fill in. You could do purple. You could do clear. Or I mean, you could do iridescent. You could do silver. And you could drop that right on there and just fill in. So I hope you guys can see that. You could also just take some geodes that are already done. Let's see. I'm going to find some gold and silver and some blue. So. Here's a pretty purple one also. I'll grab these. We have a lot of purple in here. Okay, so you could um, also adhere these to, if you're wet canvas, if you're going to use pre-made crystals that are already dry, so you've left them on your parchment paper and then they're dried and you have them all, see how shiny those are? I would use, I would wait till your pour is dry and then use Mod Podge to adhere them. If your canvas is already dry, then you just need to grab some Mod Podge. So here's another pour that we did. Just grab some Mod Podge. Again, you can use the gloss or the mat. I'm just going to use gloss because we already have that. And I'm going to use a brush and actually brush this right onto my canvas. And again, Mod Podge always dries clear. So it's creamy and milky out of the bottle, but it's going to dry clear. And you can place these geodes on wherever you want them. So you can just kind of piece them together and really get a personalized look. So again, just let that dry flat, and because Mod Podge is a glue and sealer all in one, it's going to adhere right to your canvas. So if you are using pre-made geodes or you've poured them on parchment and let them dry, you want to use Mod Podge to adhere it. 
Um, or you can put the geodes down wet onto your canvas and they will stick because they have the Mod Podge in them. So a lot of really great options with this. Does anybody have questions? It's so quiet. I hope yeah. everybody's enjoying. If you're just joining us, we've been talking about Apple Barrel, Pouring Medium, and Promo ABI. So we are going live simultaneously. We are on YouTube, and we are also on Amazon. So Tamara and John are here. So they're posting links where you can purchase this awesome product. So we are pouring. We are using Mod Podge to make geodes. Um, so we're having a lot of fun. And Promo ABI is a amazing kit. It's 18 colors of Apple Barrel acrylic paint, which is a matte finish, 18 beautiful colors. It's great for family-friendly crafting. If you're a maker, a DIYer, it is your go-to to stock your craft room, 18 colors, especially if you've never poured. This is a great way to start, um, a great way just to stock your craft room. We've got a lot of other sizes also if you're interested in other kits. We've got these great big sizes of the black and white, which are great for pouring. You can see how much black and white I've used. Um, we also have the Mod Podge gloss, and this is the, um, the star of the show, the Apple Barrel Pouring Medium. So you want to get this because it is going to make these beautiful pours and swirls and patterns with your Apple Barrel paint. So I'm going to keep going here. Let me move this brush to the side. And I'm going to move our rock salt out of the way. So do we want to talk about paint skins? Do people have questions about those? We actually have a question about yeah. painting on top, but she wanted us to wait until you were done oh, with that yeah. project. Oh yeah, great. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So painting on top of canvases. So these are a TikTok that's actually gonna be coming out. Um, Andy Jones um, did these. So uh, Jesse actually in the studio did these pores, these beautiful pores. Um, and two different looks. She did this one, which is a really beautiful like navy and gray and fuchsia. Can you guys see that? And um, let it dry and then Andy painted these beautiful roses with a palette knife on it. So this is a great technique that you can do. She also did this, you know, beach um, decor is such a big trend. So she poured this beach using that hair dryer um, technique and then Andy painted this beautiful beach scene right over it. So yes, you can absolutely do these pours as busy or as calm as you want them to be. And then you can use apple barrel paint um, to paint right over top of them. That's a great question. Any other questions? Um, we had one that I did answer in the chat earlier, but just in case anyone else is tuning in about yeah. using it on glass, doing paint pours on glass. Yes, so if you're doing decorative purposes only, you can pour on glass. Now, it's there's two different ways that you can do it. You could do it on a 3D object, but I would recommend having some kind of spinner. But I would use Apple Barrel Multi-Surface, and then you would want to seal it. So prep your glass like you do anytime we talk about painting on glass or ceramic. I would use Apple Barrel Multi-Surface. You could use your Apple Barrel Pouring Medium. And then I would seal it with Mod Podge, especially if it's something that's going to be used a lot. If it's for decorative purposes, it'll be OK. But you can also, that's a great segue, because you can do paint skins, especially if they're talking about glass on a rounded surface. So paint skins are what comes off of your pan, your baking pan, or your silicone mat after you have um, done your pour. So this is all the leftover paint. Now these we poured in a pan, swirled it, and let it dry. So you actually get like big sheets of paint. So again, you can run this through your electronic cutting machine. You can use it to personalize. You can use it to wrap 3D objects. So you can see here, instead of trying to pour on this object, um, with a spinner, all we did was we wrapped it around. And you can actually see here, it's not complete. This was another video that we did. But this actually is just a skin, and it is wrapped around a 3D object. So this is great for pots. Again, you could seal this with um, Mod Podge Outdoor if you want to pop this outside. So it's a really great option. Um, you can see here we've done, these are stuck. These are, these are actually glued in. So these are some rocks. So you can use a paint skin and you can actually form them around rocks or 3D objects. So if you have a planter like this, and again, this is where you want your Mod Podge because you're going to use it as a glue or sealer. And you can cut this with an X-Acto knife. You can cut it with scissors. Um, either way, again, this is a paint skin. I didn't cut that very straight. I would use a ruler and X-Acto knife 
And then all you need to do is you can glue that on. So I think I got paint on there. I would just use my Mod Podge. Again, I have a brush here using my Mod Podge glass. And you could use this on terracotta, on ceramic. Again, if you're going to put this outdoor, I would use Mod Podge Outdoor or Mod Podge Ultra. It's great for indoor outdoor crafting. This, it's a glue and sealer all in one. And then all you need to do is wrap this around your 3D object. So again, just a really fun thing that you can do. So if you're worried about glass or ceramic, this is a great thing to do. Now Mod Podge, it's gonna take a second to adhere. So I would use some low tack um, painter's tape if it's a round object, just to kind of hold it on, just to make sure that it's got a good, um, a good grip, but it is gonna glue on there and it's gonna be permanent. So like you can see here, I tried to peel this off and it's not gonna come off. So Mod Podge is gonna be permanent once you glue it on there. But again, you could just tack this on and then once it drags, pull that right off. But this is a great option for glasses, for vases, for flower pots. Um, it's a great way to decorate. So you could cover the whole thing. Instead of trying to pour on this and swirl it and let it dry, if you don't have a spinner, this is a really easy way to do it. And it's a great way to use up that extra paint that's left in your pan. All right. So does anybody else have questions? Any new new people joining? We do have somebody yeah. viewing on Amazon who is just, awesome. Yes, she was just saying how much her niece is going to love this, and she was wondering if um, I mean, she was again also asking about the various kits that we. Yeah, have. so um, John and Tamara are going to pop in the links whether you're viewing us on YouTube or on Amazon Live. So we are talking all about Apple Barrel Promo ABI today. Um, that's what we've been using the majority to do our paint pouring. And it is 18 beautiful colors. You can see we have the bottles up here. I have quite a mess going. Um, 18 beautiful colors. It is an acrylic matte paint, opaque finish. It's your go-to for crafting. It's a great starter kit. Again, like she said, her niece, teens and tweens, especially in the summer, get them off the screens and get them doing this. Um, it is a great, uh, great thing for them to do. Also, you should like our brand page because we're always going live, um, whether it's on Amazon or YouTube, and you can get notifications. Like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Um, we're also talking about Apple Barrel Pouring Medium. So Apple Barrel Pouring Medium is what we've been using to create all these beautiful pours today. We've also used Mod Podge Gloss, so he's great to have in our, you know, just in your craft room. You want to stock your craft room, get your promo ABI, your pouring, and your Mod Podge Gloss. And you could do geo pours like we made here. Again, you could do a dirty pour, a clean pour. The hair dryer is a great tool to have. Um, so many great options that you can do, but so great. We have um, definitely so much inspiration, so you guys want to check out both of those um, channels. So yeah, if there aren't any more questions. Nope, no new ones. Okay, well awesome, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us, and um, happy crafting, and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>